Okay, in the last videos we went from a structure to forces. So we took a given structure made of string and we computed the loads or tensions in all of the different strings. Now we're going to use a procedure to show how we can use graphical statics to design structures. So just as a very simple example, I'm going to take a suspension bridge here. So I'm going to put two towers across a body of water and my, my deck is not connected to the bridge because in a suspension bridge it's actually the cables that hold it up. It's not the connection to these towers. Uh, and I'm going to think of my bridge as kind of breaking up into four sections uh, that are going to be of equal size. And I'm going to have cables that come up the middle of here. And um, I'm not quite sure what shape I want, but we know the shape. I can't be arbitrary. It has to be given uh, by the force balance. So I'm going to just kind of sketch something that looks like I might want it. So I'm going to want it to be symmetric looking. I'm not quite sure what I want the angles to be, but maybe something like that. So I'm just going to sketch it in pencil, something along the lines of that. Now let's use our graphical procedure to actually analyze what's going on here. So we're going to have a string structure or cable structure and using our graphical technique we need to label our regions A and then between this string I call it B. We're going to have a string here so this is going to be region C. We're going to have another one here so I'm going to write that below the bridge D, region E, and region F. And now we know that we need to draw our load lines because what I'm gonna imagine here is that this deck, right, this section is all being held up by this cable. So I have my load P, P, load P, and load P. And since the decks uh, equal size, the loads are gonna always be the same. So now let me draw my load line. And so remember the load line is nothing more than this vertical line. And we're gonna use uh, one inch as our unit, so there's, one, two, three, four. So this is, I'm gonna label as point B, C, D, E, and F. So B to C is this cable, that's this load here. C to D, this load, is this cable here, separating region C to D, and so on. Okay. So now by symmetry, we can kind of see that if I set this angle here and this angle here to be the same, I'm gonna have a triangle that's symmetric about the center. So let me just draw kind of a dashed line here uh, in the center that will just serve as our uh, midpoint of our force diagram. So let me get the angle of this, that. There we go. So there's kind of our center line for our force diagram. And now I'm not quite sure uh, exactly what angle I should pick, but let me just try one. So let me use my sketch and say, well, I kind of wanted the cable to look something like that. So I'm just gonna take that as a starting point. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes from B to intersects our midpoint, and where that intersection is, is going to be point A. And so now, rather than going from structure to force diagram, I'm gonna go to the angle that I just drew on my force diagram down to the structure. And I'm gonna stop when I get to that cable there. And so now I have the first section of my bridge. All right, look at that. Now I need to know what the angle is here, but everything is now determined, right? Because there's only one point A, so everything else has to connect to point A. And so now again, I take the angle from the force diagram, bring it down here. cable. Uh, the one in the middle is nice and easy because it's just a horizontal line. So D to A, it's just going to be a horizontal line here. And then by symmetry, the other side of the bridge should pretty much look the same. And by pretty much, it should look exactly the same. So I'll just sketch in that line. And then the last one. So there's a structure. So that's an acceptable looking structure. Um, looks pretty good. I like kind of the form. The proportion seems about right. Um, but maybe we say, hmm, maybe I want this a little shallower and I want to see what that looks like. So I can take the same technique, but I can move, let's say I move point A out here. All right, so the force diagram is going to look basically the same. It's just going to be kind of elongated out uh, to the left. 
and uh, in the interest of time, I'm just going to do half the structure because um, uh, there's no need. So let's start here. So we'll start at the same place at the center line, which is horizontal. Let's do C to A. And then let's do B to A. All right, so that's another acceptable structure. So I can bring the cable down and thus make the tower a little bit lower, but at the expense of increasing the tension. Uh, so I can also say, well, maybe I wanna decrease the tension and make it a little bit steeper. Um, so I could move point A there. And again, same deal. So again, let me just kind of put the red line here. So I'll always keep the red line at this, about the same point. That's gonna be quite a bit steeper as you can see. And so in this sketch, I don't think our tower is even big enough. Whoa, so we'd have to go all the way up here if we wanted to look at, make it look like that. So we'd have to extend that tower upwards and make that cable a little bit longer. So there's three uh, solutions um, to our problem. And so now we kind of see that we can go back and forth between forces and the form or the shape of the structure. So in the next video, we'll build a slightly more complicated bridge.